Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Courtney. If you're returning, welcome back. Quick shout out to everybody over on Patreon for their support. And of course, if you're watching this video with military affiliation, thank you so much for your service. Today, we're getting into 1983's Psycho 2. I watched Psycho a while back. I know that um, Alfred Hitchcock does not direct this one, but I mean, I figured it's Psycho 2. So let's just hop straight into it. You know we don't waste time over here, and I hope that you guys enjoy the reaction. Oh, are we taking a stroll down memory lane? Oh, pumpkin. Ugh, you just want to tell her to run, but <laughs> you already know what's going to happen. This was just shot so well. Shout out to all the people who watched it and couldn't take a shower without being paranoid. <laughs> mother, oh God, mother, blood, blood. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> On the basis of the staff report, Norman Bates is judged restored to sanity and is ordered released forthwith. What about- Really? Don't they have any say? Can you restore them? I have a petition here signed by 743 people against Norman Bates' release. I explained that her petition had no effect on these proceedings. I understand how she's feeling. Our courts protect the criminals, not their victims. <laughs> Everyone's like, mm, amen. Turning now to calendar number 71143. That's all there is to it. People Let's versus go. Taylor. Uh oh. Are you satisfied, Doctor? Turning a murderer loose on an innocent public? So do and I, when he murders are. again, you will be directly responsible. I mean, we're not even really... Well, I mean, technically, I guess we are five minutes in with the original footage, but um, the acting, already so good. Now, is it really smart to bring him back here? Because couldn't he, you know, relapse? But then again, where else is he going to go? Oh, this belongs to Mr. Toomey, who runs the motel. Want me to find him? I'll introduce you. No, no, it'll, it'll, it'll wait. What's the matter? I, I saw someone. You did? I didn't. I haven't had a tenant in the house for years. I guess I'm just nervous. Hmm, I forgot to pay attention to that window. Well, this is it. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to stay here. You know. I could find you a place in town. I want to stay here. The memories are more likely to reoccur here. That's what my concern was. You start working there today. Don't forget. No, I won't. I just wish there hadn't been all those cutbacks. There'd be a trained social worker to look in on you from time to time. Oh, gosh. They're not going to have someone checking in on him regularly? Mm. Thanks, doctor. For everything. Ooh. He's so good with his facial expressions. Hmm, what's under the phone? Norman, I'll be home later. Get your own dinner, I love it. Mother? Norman! Huh. Oh, no, 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 no. Norman! What did you put in my tea? Let me show you what happens to bad little boys who poison their mothers! I'm surprised this has happened so fast. I thought we'd get a few more scenes where... We get to see him in more of a mentally stable type of a environment. Ooh! Environment was the wrong word. Sorry, guys. Mm, remember what happened with Arbogast? Just that his mental state would be more balanced before we longer before we saw him have any type of psychosis. There you go. It's been a while, y'all. I had to put my therapy hat back on. I'm Norman. Norman Bates. I'm the one who urged Mr. Statler to give you the job. I think it's very Christian to forgive and forget, don't you? I sure do. Come on, I'll introduce you to Mr. Statler. He's in the back. Get him an apron, will you, Mrs. Spool? All right, straight to it, then. Mary, this is Norman. He's going to be working back here. Oh, my gosh. It wasn't her fault, Mr. Statler. It was me. I, I, I did it. Let her pick up, and you get back here before you do any more damage. Well, that was nice of him. Here, put these up there under the hot lights and read the orders off. Wash your hands, too. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. See if I care. Hello? Oh, man. Is she going to be a victim eventually? 
Where are you going? Into town. Oh, you please leave me alone. You're going into town, you're heading in the wrong direction. Mm, she's really upset. I've been living with my boyfriend for over a year, and all of a sudden, he tells me we're through. Uh-oh. What about your parents? Uh, couldn't you stay with them? They're in Portland. Uh, I own a motel. Don't do it, sis. You'd be welcome to uh, spend the night in one of the empty rooms if you'd like. FOC, of course. What? Free of Free charge. charge. Co-workers ought to help each other out, don't you think? Yeah, but y'all just met. You sure it's all right if I stay at your motel? Oh, absolutely. So were the staff not briefed on Norman? Because the old lady in the beginning, she seemed to know, especially with like the doctor and stuff. You didn't get too wet, did you? No, I'm all right. Well, let me get you a room key. Hmm, what room is it going to be? Mr. Toomey? Uh-uh. Why don't you wait here while I check the room? Or just to make sure the linen's fresh. Are you thinking about stealing something? There's no reason to be scared, sweetheart. I manage this dump. Oh, that's Mr. Toomey. Well, uh, you must be Norman Bates. I'm Warren Toomey. Is something wrong with the room? No, just, 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 just go up and wait for me, okay? Uh, what's going on? Are the rooms not being taken care of? What's this stuff? What in the world? Say it was drugs. If it isn't the parents, it's the kids. I caught a couple of them screwing in the basement of your house up there last week. What kind of a motel are you running here? Yeah, he's not pleased at all. The kind that makes money. You're fired. I want you out of here tomorrow. I'll just go to the police. I'm sure they'd be very interested in what's been going on here. Especially the drugs. Yeah, I mean, he's got a good point. Tomorrow, Mr. Toomey. And don't rent out any more rooms in this motel. No more. At least my customers have a good time. What'd yours get, Bates, huh? Oh, don't start that. Dead! Murdered by you, you loony! Why would you say that to somebody who you know has murdered people? Why are you sitting in the dark? I was just thinking about Scott. Maybe if I hadn't blown up in him so quick, we would have worked things out. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's up in the air. Do you think I should call him and talk to him again? Oh, sure. Wait, do the phones work now? Oh, I guess so. What were you talking about? Listen, I didn't mean it. Are you still mad at me? I'm, I'm at this motel. No, I didn't get wet. I got here just as the storm started. No, oh, you got rained on just a little bit. <laughs> uh, something's gonna trigger him. Look, I can't talk any longer. I gotta go. You, you should have told Scott specifically where you were. Is that the knife? How did it go? Terrible. I found out why he didn't want me to come home tonight. He's got somebody new. He's moved her in already. Dang! I'm sorry to hear that, sweetie. You don't need him. Uh, have you had dinner yet? It's just uh, sandwiches and milk, but hmm. you're more than welcome to share it. With re we remember the sandwiches. But this is yours. No, go ahead. You, you have it. I'll make myself another. Do you have a knife? I just moved back here after being many years away, and I forgot to bring any cutlery. Huh, the way he said the line, so good. Even if it is only an old butter knife. Girl, don't start looking through. Something wrong, Norman? Girl, this is why you don't go looking through people's things. I just suddenly lost my appetite, but you, you, you go ahead, enjoy it. Awkward. I guess I'm like you. I, I suddenly lost my appetite, too. Um, I just remembered this girlfriend I have in town. I'm... I thought you were going to stay here. There's a spare room upstairs, and you're more than welcome to it. Is it the mama's old room? Just walk out the house, sis. Mrs. Spool kept on telling her to shush, but she wouldn't. She said you'd been locked up. So if you already knew this, why are you here? When I was 12, my mother went mad. So I put some poison in her tea. I, I, I'm, I'm all right now, but... You sure? That's not all that happened, Norman. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't want to... What if I, I I'm... told you that I needed you to stay? Why would you need me? Right, why? Because this is the first night I've spent in this house in years, much less alone. So you see, I'm as scared as you are, just for different reasons. And that would have made me walk out faster. Who am I kidding? I wouldn't have even been in this situation. just closed. I know y'all heard that. No, no not, not that one. No. This one over there. But uh, 
Used to belong to my mother. Is this a room where you had your troubles? One of them, yeah. Well, I don't know what happened to you in the past, Norman, but you're never going to get over it, not unless you say so. Girl, you are being so intrusive. She's asking for it. See? No ghost. I can sleep here? No, I'd... Uh... Why not? I'd just rather you didn't. Let me show you the room across the hall, okay? I guess it's time to, uh, to go to sleep. She is better than me. Good night, Mary. What's she looking at? Oh. Smart. But the question is, well, not even a question. I, I wouldn't have gone to sleep that night. <laughs> oh, well, she's still breathing. I got up early and went into town to see my girlfriend. You know, the one I was telling you about. We're going to room together. Well, if you change your mind. Ah, oh, look who it is. Just had to come in and try and start some trouble. I hope he washes dishes better than he runs a motel. Just the foreshadowing with us getting all these knife images, like, it, it, it says a lot. <laughs> hey, can I get a little service around here or what? Huh? What would you like? I like some of what Norman got last night. That is not what happened. What happened between you and that man last night? I fired him. Excuse me, do you still work here? Yeah. Then could I please have my orders? What is this for him? Like, day two? What is going on? Oh, he is going to relapse. What's what like? Screw on a psycho. Ah, uh, toss the coffee on him. Hey, I suppose you didn't spend last night alone with them in that house, huh? You got strange tastes in men, honey. Stop causing a scene. Or are you the kind that doesn't uh, kiss and tell? You really want to know what Norman's like? Yeah. Better than you'll ever be, fat boy. <laughs> Go, girl. Ooh. Come on. Come on, huh? No, 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 no. Norman, fight it. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Go on, psycho. Pick it up. Come on, pick it up. Ah, look, not only is he crazy, he's chicken shit, too. He was bothering Mary. And then he slipped me a note. What note? It's there on the wheel. I thought he took it down. There's nothing here. Either he's seeing things or the mother side of him did it without him realizing it. I'm telling you, there was a note on that wheel from my dead mother. Okay, everybody, business as usual. Mary, I recognize that haircut. Stay away. Hi. Is that offer to room with you still open? What? You know my girlfriend, the one I told you about? Yeah. Well, you lad, there isn't one. Her boyfriend sleeps over almost every night. Oh. What about that note? You figure out who sent it? That was just a practical joke. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, well, let me take that. No, 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 that's all right. I can manage. She's a strong, independent lady. <laughs> and I'm going to bed right after I take a shower, if that's all right with you. Oh, you're sure. You all right, Norman? Hmm, another shower scene. Oh, for heaven's sake, please tell me that is not... It is. The connections between the first film and this film. Ooh, Moonlight Sonata. Girl, don't start catching feelings. Now, who in the world could that be? Hey, wake up! Seriously? Hey, you nutcase! Hey! Hello, psycho! I just want you to know I'm moving out, huh? Yeah, he's really drunk. Hello? Who is this? 
My mother is dead. Mr. Toomey, if this is you, you're sicker than I ever was. Oh, boy. Bastard. Whoa, come on now. I mean, I saw that coming. I just figured I could make more money with the motel. What does Mr. Toomey think about your plans? You know, I fired him. Yeah, you, you know, he was turning this place into what I think they call an adult motel. I mean, that's basically what it was. Who's that? Where? There, in the top window. The attic? It looked like a woman. Oh, oh, oh that, that must have been Mary. But Mary shouldn't be in the attic. What was that? There is somebody else in there. Oh boy. Not the mother's room. Look, this is uh, this is Dr. Raymond. He was my psychiatrist in the institution. Hello. Hi. Well, I have to be going to work. Can I give you a lift? May as well take it. So, what can I do for you, doctor? Oh, he's concerned. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Norman Bates case? Very. I reread the file when I found out he'd been released. Although Norman says that somebody has been leaving notes and making phone calls claiming to be his mother. So what do you want me to do about it? Put a tap on his phone. Sorry, Doc. I can't do that. Why not? But I can check around and see who might hate Norman enough to do something like that. Anything else? You could keep an eye on Norman. I have been. How? He's got a girl living with him, uh, Mary Samuels. And I'll check on her, too. Thank you, Sheriff. Sheriff, you're not doing enough. I mean, I get it. They're busy with a whole bunch of other stuff. And the doctor did say that they're short-staffed with things. Not necessarily the police, but... There is somebody in there! Because even the doctor saw something. Oh my gosh. Could it be somebody playing just a prank? Because the Toomey guy mentioned seeing, or not seeing, but finding people in the basement. What? This movie is doing the absolute most right now. How'd all this stuff get back in here? Is he dreaming? Plot twist, they never actually let Norman out. He just, all of this is just happening in his brain. And he's still in like a straight jacket or something in the mental institution. That is the only thing I can think of. Cause this is just making no sense. It's good, don't get me wrong, but oh my gosh. I don't wanna go in the attic. Oh, absolutely not. This has to be a dream. This has to be a nightmare, something. What in the world? Are you sure this is safe? It always has been. And did I not just mention the Toomey guy talking about people going into the basement to have a good old grand time? Now, if y'all see something, I'm gonna know something's up. Ew, how long has that been there? Oh, y'all just came down here to smoke a cigarette. Oh, I figured there was more to it. What was that? What? Just the house settling. <laughs> as my parents, as my parents would always tell me, it's just the house settling, girl. Jesus. What is it? Shh. Oh, I hear heels. Let's get out of here. Dumbass, run! Excuse my language, y'all. It has to be Norman. Girl, go to the sheriff, go to the cops, run like the wind, and stop tripping over yourself. No, wait a minute. Oh gosh, I don't know what is happening. Mary, up here. Oh wow, now you can open the door. What are you doing up here? Uh, I was locked in. You 
It couldn't have been. There's no key in the lock. Someone unlocked it. This has to be some type of a practical joke. I saw her in the window. And just look in the room. It's all been fixed up and her stuff's inside. There's another note, too. It's not going to be fixed up. We check the back stairs. Maybe they went down that way. Norman? No, mm -hmm. this, the dresses are... Who's that? Yeah, she definitely went to the police. Whatever you do, don't tell them about the bedroom. There's a girl sitting down in my squad car below, too scared to come into this house. Well, she claims that she saw her boyfriend murdered in your fruit cellar today by a large woman dressed in black. That's just how your mother used to look, isn't it, Norman? I mean, technically. You mind if we look in the fruit cellar? No. Looks clean to me. What? Yeah, doesn't it, though? This is crazy. You been straightening up down here? This is the first time I've been inside this room since, since I came home. And who did it? I did. Why is this open? You better put a padlock on it before someone robs you blind. You know why Norman doesn't come down here, don't you? No, I don't. Who? May as well tell her. He used to keep his mother's corpse down here. Stole it from the grave. Talked to himself in her voice, answering in his own. What do you think of that? Horrible. Mary, come on now. Are you positive you cleaned up down here? Yes. Are you sure that neither one of you heard anything this afternoon between four and five? She wasn't here. He was with me all afternoon. We were walking in the fields. Goodbye. Nice to see you again, Norman. Well, I don't think this will be the last time. <laughs> Why did you do that? Lie to the sheriff. You weren't with me this afternoon. I had to do something. He was going to arrest you. <sighs> Norman? This is too much for him. It's starting again. I was just thinking about you and Sam. How is he? My husband is dead. Oh, y'all got married. What brings you back to Fairvale after all these years? Norman Bates. Mrs. Loomis, I can't arrest a man without proof, especially one with an alibi. There's a girl staying out there with him, and she says that he was with her at the time the murder took place. Have you dragged the swamp yet? That's where he dumped his victims the last time. Have you dragged it yet? I mean, this is true. Lila is not letting this one go. What's her problem? I don't know. Sheriff, yes you but do. But if Norman Bates is crazy, there are a whole lot of people around here running him a close second. What you need is one of my special Irish coffees. Is there any brandy in the house? I don't know. Don't say it's in the fruit cellar. Mr. Toomey was a drinker, wasn't he? Did he leave a bottle in the office? I'll be right back. You rest here. <laughs> what? Why did you lie to the sheriff and say Bates was with you this Ooh. afternoon? Mother. Girl. What? Mother? Everything. Answer my question. Why did you alibi Bates? I didn't alibi him. Don't lie to me. I talked to the sheriff. Oh, my gosh. This is a twist I did not see. Because Norman couldn't have murdered that boy. Why not? He saw me in the window like we planned. Then he went into a room and saw the stuff. Locked the attic door behind him. He was trapped in there for hours while I took everything down the back stairs. What? We want him recommitted. This would have done it. Mother, he's innocent. Innocent? He killed your aunt, didn't he? Not to mention the six other people. Has Lila been dressing up as the mother? Did she kill that boy? I think there's someone else in the house. Don't be stupid. It can't be Norman. He isn't like that anymore. And it hardly seems fair for us to be doing what we're doing to him. I knew something was up, but this was not what I thought. Norman needs you? A psychopath needs you? He'll murder you just like he did all the others! And she just says she thinks there's somebody else in the house. Oh no! <laughs> Well, the body had to go somewhere. Jesus. How did that get in there? After I killed that kid in the cellar, I used it to clean up the mess, and then... What? Then I flushed it down there. What? Norman, stop talking nonsense. I tell you, you didn't kill anybody. Then how do you explain this? Well... Are you going to tell the truth, Mary? Did you clean up the cellar the way you told the sheriff? No. Norman, it couldn't have been you. I always used to black out when because I... Because you couldn't. You don't have it in you, not anymore. 
So I'm gonna look, why don't you go downstairs and make us a drink, okay? And I'll clean this up. Mary, girl. You're a little too calm around blood. All right, what color is that eyeball? Norman? Yes? The tea kettle's boiling. Oh, okay. Oh, she got a little something with her. This house has to have like a secret passage or something that she doesn't know about or even Norman doesn't know about. She's moving too slow for me. Mm -mm. Oh. oh boy. Hey! There's no one there now. Someone was watching me through that hole. They're in the house with us right now. Where did you get that thing? It's hers. Come on. Wait, aren't you going the wrong way? You take the downstairs. I'll check up here. Or shouldn't we stick together? I mean, technically, yeah. It's because of me, isn't it? That's why you have it. Of course not. Oh, no. Mrs. Lila Loomis, room 15, please. You're sure she hasn't come back? There'll be no message. Thank you. Okay, Mother, where are you? And honestly, that, that looked like a man. Hmm. Is Sam really dead? Norman. What is it? It's my mother. She's downstairs. Come on. No. Norman, your mother's dead. I was wrong. Whoever it is that's trying to drive you crazy again. So let's go downstairs and find- No. Mary, I'm disappointed in you. Let's wait till morning. I'll, uh, I'll be fine right here. Norman, this is- No. Mary, you are in way over your head. Oh, boy. <gasps> what are you doing, Norman? Norman, put the knife down. Nobody's going to come in the door. Mary. I'm becoming confused again, aren't I? Of course not. Mary, you are not a professional. Yes, Norman, you are becoming confused again. Don't let them take me back to the institution. Don't worry, Norman, I won't. You smell good. You smell like... like the toasted cheese sandwiches. Not... not the cheese sandwiches. Just remember the good things she did for you. Only the good things. No, the doctors took them all away. Except those sandwiches. Shh, shh. Just leave. All right, I need some answers. Norman, do you remember Lila Loomis? Oh no, what happened? She's Mary's mother. Oh, now he knows. Hmm. They're the ones who've been leaving the notes, making the phone calls. Like mother, like daughter. You know how Lila Loomis feels about you. They want to destabilize you, to undermine your sense of reality. We can't do that. Good. Glad to hear you say that. Yeah, that's a good sign. It isn't them anyway. It isn't. Who is it? Uh-oh. It's my mother. She's not dead. That was Mary Loomis, or Lila Loomis, dressed up to look like your mother. But she's been with me when the phone rang. Then it was her mother. Once you accepted the fact that you murdered her, her memory would have no hold of you. That's a real good point. I want you to stop calling Norman. I haven't called him. Don't lie to me. You called him this morning. He's slipping into insanity again. I can hear it in his voice. Lila, you need to stop. You could stop stuffing bloody towels down toilets and peering through peepholes in walls. That would be a help. What? You were in that house last night. I was not. I came right back here after I saw you. What happened in that house last night? Goodbye, Mother. <sighs> Oof. 
He's about to go over the edge, isn't he? Now listen, just dress up in his mother's clothes one more time. That's all it's going to take. It's going to be the last time. Well, if you won't do it for me, at least do it for your father. I'm not living for dead people anymore, Mother. Now, wait a minute. Mother, let go. You're hurting me. Now, listen to me. If you go near that house, you're going to be sorry. Oh, wow. She's dead. And she's not coming back to life again, is she? No. Yeah, that's her, all right. Dr. Raymond had them open up my mother's coffin. Oh? That proves that she's not the one who's been torturing me. Not unless she's a ghost. Mary, you in danger, girl. He says it's you and your mother. He says your last name is Loomis. I wonder who that could be. I'm... I'm sorry, Mother. There's no one on the line. Yes, Mother, I'm sorry we were interrupted. Hello? Hello, Norman? This is your mother. Hang up. All right. Do it, Norman, now. Well, that had me in stunned silence. I was so worried. Well, that all the things that have been happening to me were because of you and your mother. Now I know it's somebody completely different. Who is it? My real mother. What? Your mother is dead. Mrs. Bates was your real mother, and she's dead. Then who was that on the phone? My mother. Dr. Raymond was right about both of us. Lila and I were trying to drive you crazy again. It wasn't fair for us to be doing what we were doing to you. Is that the only reason? What in the world? What do you mean? You know what I mean. The sheriff would like to see you out at the swamp. Oh, no. Yeah, there's a piece of the puzzle that's still missing. This is Mr. Tumas. Oh, I told him to get packing and he left. That's all I know. Someone has been phoning Norman claiming to be his mother. So I've been wondering if it's possible that he was adopted. Not that I've ever heard of. And I've lived my entire life here, Miss Loomis. You were a tad slow around here, young lady. Not incompetent. <laughs> Either you or your mother know anything about this. No. Are you sure? I didn't mean to. Now, that's what Norman said 20 years ago. Only he was crazy. Now, what's your excuse? I guess I don't have one. Well, I'll just say goodbye to you now, then. Sheriff. I said goodbye, Miss Lewis. Girl, you better go. There's a car down here. Anybody in it? I can't tell. It's stuck in the mud. It's interesting because we saw Norman's mental illness in the first Psycho, and now we're seeing the mental illness of Mary and Lila. Ah, that's where it goes every time. This movie is so good. <laughs> oh, not the good doctor. No, stay away. There's no way they cleaned up the mess that fast. I followed Lyle Loomis from her hotel to your house. She came down here. But she wasn't the woman I saw in the window. Was it? That was my mother. Mrs. Bates only took care of me. My real mother is somebody completely different. I mean, I figured that's what he was talking about. Norman, if I were to prove to you that Mary and Lila Loomis were the ones who were calling you, would you accept the fact that you have no other mother than Mrs. Bates? Of course. And that's what I'll do. See, he was shaking his head and then saying, of course. Like, what? It would be a great lot off my mind. Is that? That's it. Looks like Toomey's car, doesn't it? That's what I was going to say. It looked like it. You recognize it? Okay, hold it right there. Well? Mary has no business being here. Don't you have someplace else to be? Right. Get her out of here. Oh, Jeez. Well, yeah. That's it. What is it? They found a car in the swamp. They'd catch us. So what's the point of going? Because it's my fault. Oh, some accountability. 
Then whose fault is it? My mother's. She's the one who's been doing the killing to protect me. She told me so herself. You're mad, don't you know that? You're mad as a hatter. Lila Loomis has used this phone to call your house. I understand. Mother? Norman, this is Dr. Raymond. What is he hearing? Hello, Lila. Lila. No, Mother. Mary's still here with me. I like her. You can't make me... kill her. Do I have to, Mother? Mary, why are you still standing there? Why do I have to kill her? Why are you going downstairs? See, I couldn't tell what this was at first. This is the coal. Oh, boy. Oh, no, Mother, please. Please don't make me. I don't think you understand about me, Mother. Norman, you can't see her? Norman! Do you recognize me? It's me, your mother. And since I'm standing here in front of you, I can't very well be on the phone, can I? Norman, put the phone down this instant! Oh, no. Norman, can you hear me? It's not working anymore, Mary. Norman, please say something. Oh! It looks like a man. Norman! Gotcha. Oh, no. Oh, jeez, man. No, man, I, I didn't mean to do it. I, I... Oh, here we go. It's all right, Mother. Norman, I'm not your mother. Norman, I am not your mother. I am uh, married. How many times have you killed Mother? Norman, love, I am married. Oh. Stay away from me. <laughs> I always have, because I'm your dutiful Stay away. son. Mother, hurry. Oh. You did it. You killed them all. Freeze. Ooh. So she and her mother were trying to put Norman back into the asylum. Well, that much we know for sure. I mean, that is true. She wanted Lila to leave Norman alone, but she wouldn't. What about the bodies in the swamp, the boy, and that motel manager? They tried to blame the murders on Norman. Or maybe only the daughter did it. She definitely killed Dr. Raymond. Yep, she did definitely do that. Right till the end, she kept saying Norman was the one who was crazy. What about it, Norman? You ready to go home? That house has seen some stuff. in the world this is getting ridiculous mrs. Spohr hello Norman come in tea oh, please oh no so are you really my mother? The name Spool doesn't mean anything to you? The woman you thought was your mother was my sister. What? I had you when I was very young, out of wedlock. I couldn't handle a brand new baby. Especially uh, being by myself, I... I thought he was just delusional about that. I had some trouble and the state put me away for a while. She never mentioned me, did she? No, she, uh, she didn't. Is he about to poison her? Uh... After I got out, you'd already had your troubles and been committed. And then when I saw what they were trying to do to my poor little boy, I couldn't stand it. And one by one... Uh-huh. You're all I have in this world. You are crazy for drinking stuff from that man. You're sure you won't have a sandwich? Pardon? Uh-oh. Uh Oh gosh, are you gonna keep her body now? Wow. 
I'll just put you to bed and tuck you in for the night. I'm not sleepy. Turn me to the window. I want to keep my eyes on you. Go downstairs and open the motel. What do you expect us to live on, Hope? I'm the only one who loves you. The cycle's gonna start all over again, isn't it? That was amazing. This was wonderful. The way that this one was done, it was done very well. I didn't know what was about to happen. I thought Mary was just dumb. I mean, don't get me wrong. Mary, Mary was just too much for me. And finding out that Lila is Mary's mother and they intentionally were doing all of this to Norman. Look, I understand that what Norman did was wrong, 110%. I just wanna be very clear about something. Cause it's, it feels weird to say that I was feeling bad for Norman, given what Norman did. But what Lila and Mary were doing, it was really messed up. Trying to get this man to relapse, trying to get him to co start committing murders again, really, really messed up. I mean, it's like, I know what I, I remember what I said earlier about how in the first film it was Norman that had all the psychosis and now we're seeing it in Lila and Mary, like this obsession with wanting to send him back to the asylum. But I mean, clearly Norman still has, because again, and I know I've mentioned this in many of my videos, me working in mental health and talking about coping skills and what, like you can easily be triggered and go back down the original path that you were on, not the original path, but previous paths that you were on prior to getting to this point of healing, it does happen to folks. So I feel like because of my therapy background, I was a bit more outraged at the fact that Lila and Mary would do this to somebody who clearly was put in an asylum, came up out of that and was just trying to do better. And yes, again, I know that the man murdered people. I'm not making excuses for that. But for me in this film, Lila and Mary were the disgusting characters in this film. On top of which Toomey was as well. He was getting on my nerves. Do you deserve what he got? No, there's, there's sleazy, nasty people all over the place, all over the world, really. But I just... Uh, uh, this just very thought provoking. And I feel so bad for the doctor. I really do. I know what he was trying to do. He was trying to prove that Norman was innocent and that Lila and Mary, he was trying to catch him in the act. And Mary, again, going back to her, she really should have realized, but then again, Mary, she seemed off anyway, that even when she was in Norman's face, dressed up as his mother, Norman was still having a full-blown conversation while looking her in the eye. Like, get out of the house, man. Like, what? Oh my gosh, this was so good. And the I thought, again, I want to elaborate on this. The whole thing about Norman's mother not really being his mother. Again, I thought that was some type of a delusion. I thought, like, that doesn't really add up to me. Like, it doesn't really make any sense because... And, I've, and I'm glad we got that backstory, but going back to the first film where the sh the, the sheriff um, in that film, when Sam and Lila went to his house and his wife was there and they were talking and they mentioned like, you know, I picked out the outfit that Mrs. Bates wore in her casket, you know, she's, she's really dead. Like, she's not alive. And for Norman to have to see the see her in the casket again and you know I get what the doctor was trying to do with that but they never really mentioned or brought up in the first film Norman at least I don't remember Norman's mom not being his mother because like it just didn't add up to me so I'm thinking for this film it was just weird and stuff and then when what was her name Miss Spool showed up and seeing how she looked, it clicked for me. I didn't say it, but it clicked. I was like, that. 
if this is true that has to be his biological mother because she looks way too much like the the mother get up that lila and mary were wearing and too much like um what, what mrs bates looked like in the first film so and for him to crack her upside the head with that cold shovel because i thought that he was going to poison her in with the tea like you know we got that backstory and all that i just this was wonderful this was really really good i was on the edge of my seat i was always ready for something to jump out at me i mean this had me all over the place but in a good way it was done exceptionally well we got the, these little like moments where it went back to the first film obviously seeing the bates motel and the vacancy sign and we got to see um the shower scene from the first film and then we get to see mary you know in the shower and then the 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 holes in the wall where you can like look into the room and all these little details they it all just came together very very nicely i thought the film was shot very well but the comment i made about is sam actually still alive and y'all just don't know <laughs> Because I'm thinking, is Sam involved somehow? But no, Sam is really dead. But the reason why I started thinking that was because when Mary looked through the little hole in the wall and the person came into view, it looked like a man. And then, of course, when Mary's standing at the top of the stairs with the phone and Dr. Raymond came up behind her, I was at first thinking, oh, that's the man from earlier. I was right. But no, that was just, <laughs> I don't know what that was. And then the parts that really made me just really question my theories was definitely seeing the mother's room all made up again. I was just like, how, how does somebody do that so fast and then break it down again so quickly? And it was actually very, um, I will say it was very refreshing, not refreshing, but hmm. This is probably going to make me sound horrible, but Lila's death was actually very satisfying for me. She should have just walked away and let it go. I get it that you still want that justice for your sister, but girl, you had it coming. You did. Going back into that house... And then just the the image of the knife going through her throat just was really nice. Okay, yeah, that made me sound a little creepy, but I don't care. <laughs> That's another reaction video down. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to 1983 Psycho 2. I will see you guys in the next video, whichever one you choose to watch. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so that you guys know whenever I upload. And thank you guys all so much because by the time I post this video, I probably will have hit for over 4,000 subscribers. So thank you guys all so much for your support over here on YouTube. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I, again, I was just so grateful when I hit the 1,000 and the fact that I'm at 4,000, over 4,000 now is just absolutely amazing. So thank you guys all so much for your support over here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.